Hello and welcome back to How to Build Software Without Coding. I'm Mr. Hackathon. I show you how to build software without coding. And this in this tutorial, what we're going to do is show you how to make a hundred TikTok shorts or a hundred TikTok pieces of content in 10 minutes. What we're going to do to use this is Raiku, Google Sheets, and Canva. Raiku is an amazing platform for fine tuning AI models. That means you can create your own AI models. I know I'm seeing lots of people using chat GPT, but especially if you're more technical, if you have custom data that you can actually work with to create your own models, Raiku is perfect. It has a five day free access. After that, you do have to pay. So what you want to do is create an account, sign up, create an account, and it will bring you to a dashboard and one of the first things we want to do is create a prompt so creating a prompt allows us to create our own model what you can see here is i have a prompt for anime quotes so if i just type an emotion such as angry i can select how many outputs i want for and it will generate some quotes based on very simple data. If I show you what the training data set looks like, so I have given it a prompt. I said, create sad animate quotes from information provided. Please only create one output. Emotion, I give it emotion and I show our output. I show an example input. I show an example output. And this is a very, very small training uh, data set. You want you probably want to provide much more than this, but you can get started by having just a small amount of data to train. What we are going to do, we're just going to leverage. We are going to leverage some of the sample prompts and we are going to create a new one. We're going to use motivational quotes. If I just refresh this. I want to load motivational quotes. And we can see here with the motivational quotes one, it has the prompts create a motivational quote to help me be productive throughout my day. And it gives in this one, you don't actually have any input. It's just going to generate motiv motivational quotes. So all it does here is show you sample motivational quotes. When you have done this using this same format, what you want to do is go to export, oh, sorry, not export code. What you want to do is go to save prompt. I might go save as new. I'm going to type motivational quote. And I'm just going to type motivational quote, Dominic. How many fields do you want to do there's no fields here we can continue you want to give it a description continue we don't want to run it as a chatbot for this we don't want to share with the community let me just put in miscellaneous we can add a thumbnail complete and now when we go to prompts, we can see our motivational quote generator. And I can just see how many outputs I want. Remember before with the other one, we had inputs, but this one has no inputs. And so all I have to do is click run prompt. And then you can see it generates motivational quotes. This is the first stage of what you want to do. The second stage is you want to go over and on the home page, you want to download the plugin for Google Sheets. So we are going to generate a hundred examples by using Google Sheets. What, we, what you'll see when you click on Google Sheets here, you'll see a Google Sheets integration. And then you want to go to connect Google Sheets. When you collect Google Sheets, what it will do is it will prompt you to copy this document you want to copy this document and it will produce something similar to this, but a set blank. So you would have a blank version of this, what you will see on one page, and I can actually delete this. 
what you will see on one page is something similar to this except here in a1 it has like a tutorial link on the second page it will have these kind of prompts prompt name and ids this page is important you do need this page but what you will also see is this ai tab this is a very important tab because what you'll see here is show ai sidebar and this sidebar will pop up and i be i do believe you have to give access and give permissions for this extension or this plugin made by Raikou to access the Google Sheet. And what we're going to do with this AI tab and the AI formula is actually bulk generate 100, 100 um, examples here. What you then want to do is go to settings. You want to type in your username. For me, it's Dominic Norton. And then you want to type in your secret key from Raikou. So if we go back, the way you find your secret key is you go to profile or you click the profile icon, go to profile, and I'm not going to click it because as soon as you click it, you will be able to see the secret key. Then you click save. So I am actually going to do this so I can log in. Now I'm logged in through the AI sidebar. What I want to do is go home and it will allow me to select a prompt here. So what you can see is a list of prompts here and where it's sourcing that from is this prompts spreadsheet. To be able to add more prompts here, what you would do is we would, we would insert a new row, I can insert a row above. And what we'll do is give it a name in this column and use the, put the ID in this column is if we go to prompts for this one we just created we would click play and you can see copy prompt id here so if we wanted to add this we can do that we go back we add it right here and i'm going to call it motivational quotes you can name it whatever you want to name it zero Input. I'm just going to keep the consistent format that was provided by Raikou, GPTJ. I'm going to change this to Dominic. So that's how you would add an additional prompt that you have created from your own training model. Just make sure we're still signed in. I'm going to go back go back. Now I can select a prompt. And if I, I believe if I actually exit out of this and open it again, what you can see here is motivational quotes, Dominic, and you can see the new uh, prompt that I added to that additional spreadsheet. And what we're going to do is select a prompt. For this one, I'm actually not going to select the motivational quotes, Dominic, that I just selected. I am going to do the regular motivational quotes. And you can see they take different amount of inputs on this motivational quotes one. It doesn't take any input. So I'm going to select that, Keep, click, click save. And now what I do is type equals. In the formula, I can type equals AI. Then I can click on this. And because I don't take any inputs, I don't have to specify um, which columns the inputs are in. So I can actually just close these brackets, click uh, enter, and give it some time to load. And what you see is actually it's making a mistake here. So what I want to do, if if this doesn't update straight away what you want to do is hit view what you want to show is what you want to show is the hidden sheet and here you can actually see the prompt id i have my credentials here which i've been able to kind of hide and what this prompt id isn't actually right so what i want to do is change this 
So right now it's showing the prompt ID as something else. If I go to my prompts, what I can see here is this is my prompt ID. What I'm going to do here is just hard code this prompt ID here. So now when I come back, if I go equals AI, close the brackets, what I should get is my quote. Okay, so now I get my quote. And all of this is really early in the game, so there are a few bugs here and there. And what I can do now is we're not going to do 100, uh, but we will do 20. And all you do have is you have to drag as many rows as you want to generate. So you can see it's actually generated 20 motivational quotes. It doesn't have to be motivational quotes. It could be Amazon, uh, product announcements, product descriptions. It could be fictional story plots. It could be Twitter hashtag generators, LinkedIn post generator. It could be all of that. But here, now we have 20 rows or I believe we might have 19 rows. So we're going to do one more. So now we have 20 rows. What we're going to do is export this. We're going to download this as a CSV file. Perfect. What you want to do now is to head over to Canva. Canva's free for me. It's one of the best free and maybe even paid tools for creating creative for social media. And what you're going to do is create a new design. I have already, or maybe not. So we're gonna create a new design. I thought I already did that, but we're gonna create a new design and it's gonna be Instagram story. Let's just do a regular Instagram story. Or oh, we did say TikTok, so we'll do TikTok. story and so now we have a blank canvas to create tiktok story quotes and you can see immediately it's giving us templates here what i'm going to do is to select one of these one of these templates let's select this one i'm going to make some changes and the changes i'm going to make is i'm just going to remove this logo here and here we have a quote and we have this at the bottom. So maybe I'll change this to just be my name. And so what we have here is our base template. What we want to do next is we want to go to apps. We want to go to bulk. Type in bulk and we want to do bulk create. And what we want to do from here is upload CSV. Find our CSV, upload that. And you can see here that it identify one data fields called prompts. That's this data field that it identified. We'll go back. What we then want to do is right click on the area we want it to go in, click connect data and click prompts. Then we want to click continue and what we can do is apply the data and select all the ones that we want to generate. And you can see generate 20 pages here. We're going to generate the 20 pages. And you can see it's applied all of those quotes to all of those pages. And all we have to do now is take this background. We can go to elements. I can type in uh, beach, I can go to video and apply a video. All I have to do now is go to, go and apply these different videos. And now we have 20 pieces of creative and we don't have to write all of them out. So we used AI and we use our fine tune model to actually create all of these quotations. And what we'll do from here is put it in Canva 
and use the bulk create app. And with the bulk create app, we can create all of these pages, all of this creative in no time. If you like this tutorial, please like, comment and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on here or reach out to me on any other social media platform found in the description below.